Okay, great. So now that we've uh, done that, let's actually go learn how to do a different kind of compute, which is serverless functions. So uh, if we want to launch our own serverless function, uh, uh, by the way, if you're not at the screen, just click on Microsoft Azure here at the top. And we're gonna go to our search and we're gonna type in functions. And so on the left-hand side, I want you to click on add. And then uh, what we're doing is we need to create a function app. So we're gonna be on our free trial. We're gonna choose our resource group we created earlier. We're gonna name this. I'm gonna just call this, um, this is the function app name. So I'm gonna just say my, my app. Uh, my app is not available. These are all unique, unique names. I'm just call it exam pro app. You might have to change this a few times before you get what you want. Um, and then uh, for publish, we're gonna use code. We don't wanna use a Docker container. That's too much work. And we're gonna just use Node.js, which is just JavaScript. Version 12 sounds great to me. We're gonna change this to make it sure that it's US East to make our lives a little bit easier. There's nothing wrong with central. It's just I want everything to be consistent. So everything's very predictable in these um, uh, in these follow alongs here. We'll go all the way to the top and look at hosting just quickly here. We're gonna see that we have a storage account. Okay, nothing exciting here. It's gonna either be Linux or Windows. This doesn't really matter to us. We can let it be Windows. We're gonna go back to basic. I'm gonna go ahead and hit review plus create. So we're gonna wait for this validation to, uh, step to complete here. So again, it could take a second or it could take a minute. It just depends on the day with Azure. So we'll just wait here a little bit. There we go, it's just finished validating. I'm gonna go ahead and hit create. And now we're waiting for that initial deployment. So we're gonna see that deployment is on its way. And then we have to wait for deployment to be complete. So it's in progress, it's underway. This shouldn't take too long. and should say that it's complete here in a moment. Great, so after waiting a few minutes here, our deployment is complete. We'll go ahead and hit go to resources. So now what we need to do is we need to go create ourselves a function. So on the left-hand side, make your way to functions. And then in here, we're gonna add ourselves a new function. And so we have a lot of presets here for us. It's not gonna matter what we choose. Well, it does. Um, and I'm gonna say, let's choose HTTP trigger. We're going to leave it with the default name, that's fine. Uh, we'll have it uh, stay as function for authorization level. We'll go ahead and create that function. So once that function is uh, has been created here and it's already done, let's start adding our code. Because again, the whole point of serverless is that you don't have to worry about servers, you just add your code and it works. And so here's some code it already has for us. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add myself a console log. Uh, console log is just like saying hello world. So we're gonna say hello world. And then I'm gonna hit save. And now it's just connecting to application insights. I don't know if it's actually running it. Yeah, it's connected, great. And now let's go ahead and hit test. And so we have a bunch of options here. I'm not gonna fill in anything. I'm just gonna hit run. And we're gonna see what the output is. Okay, great. So, you know, I'm just looking at how this actually works. And um, I think what we need to do is we need to actually pass a name into the, uh, to the query string here. So what we'll do is we're just gonna go ahead and type in query here and we'll put a name and we'll say Andrew. Um, and so that should do it. So let's just hit run. Okay, great. And so it's saying, uh, hello, Andrew. So there you go. That's all you have to do to uh, create a serverless function. Um, and it doesn't cost us anything to keep this around. So we don't necessarily have to delete it. Uh, if you did want to go delete it, I guess we could go back here. Uh, we'd have to go back to functions here. And I would just click delete. And we'll type in yes, and we'll hit delete. And there you go. So that's that's all there is there, uh, there to it for uh, serverless compute. I can go back to Microsoft Azure here, uh, back to the dashboard, and we'll see you in the next follow along.